we thank you so much for this morning. We give you all the glory and in adoration, Lord, for how far you've brought us. We thank you for traveling mercies and all you've done for us. Father, we commit this program into your hands, Lord. We commit every deliberation into your hands, Lord. We pray for your presence. We pray for wisdom. We pray for understanding and discernment in every facet of this deliberation. And at the end of it all, oh Lord, we wouldn't hesitate to give glory and an adoration unto your name. This and many other blessings we pray for in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Now that we've done the opening prayer, I believe we can set the ball rolling. Welcome everyone to the SME High Growth Program. And this has been done under the auspices of the Ghana Enterprises Agency. Under this program, that is the Ghana Economic Transformation Project. So why are we here? And why have I seen all these wonderful ladies and gentlemen here for this program? Well, it might be a good time to invite Madam Kosi Yanki, CEO of the Ghana Enterprises Agency, to give us the welcome address, of course, and the project overview. For those who want to know who I am, my name is George Yafe. I'll be your MC for today. With a round of applause, let's welcome Madam Kosi Yanki Aye to give us the project overview. I'm honored to welcome you to the occasion of the national launch of the SME High Growth Program. This is a very important day for all of us, for Ghana Enterprises Agency, the Ministry of Trade and Industry, the Ministry of Finance, and the World Bank. For the past two years, we've been working on the Ghana Economic Transformation Project, trying to ensure that we bring relief and support to SMEs across the nation. So many programs have been devised. The essence behind this after the COVID pandemic was to find a way to transform the Ghanaian economy. For most of you sitting here today, I know some of you have benefited from our interventions, and we intentionally chose you to be a part of the program because of what you've experienced and what you have benefited from in the past. I'm profoundly thankful to Almighty God for making it possible for us to do this again. Ladies and gentlemen, before I proceed, I wish to express my deepest appreciation to the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, for his vision and leadership. To our sector minister, Honorable John Alan Tremating, for his direction and support, and to the development partners, the World Bank, for their continuous support to the private sector in Ghana, and in providing technical guidance for various SME-focused programs and provision of funding to implement the government's vision. Through the Ghana Enterprises Agency, we have seen the most vibrant SME sector that this nation has ever seen. And I'm happy to report that this support has been greatly valued by these SMEs. At this juncture, Honorable Deputy Minister and Honorable Chair, please permit me to share with you a few highlights thus far of our intervention through this World Bank intervention support. Prior to this World Bank support, the Ghana Enterprises Agency had invested over $150 million in the private sector to support MSO. Through the President's direction, we had invested uh, so much in these businesses to support them to sustain their operations and to grow at a time when the world was changing. Through the Ghana Economic Transformation Program, so far two main interventions have successfully been implemented the phase one and the phase two of the COVID response grant program. And this current SME high growth program is the third intervention. And for me, it is the most important intervention. In the past two interventions, over 65 million Ghana cities was disbursed and committed to 800 plus SMEs between September 2021 to December 2022. Almost 40% of them were women owned enterprises. Out of these, 800 SMEs at a value of more than 23 million Ghana cities were spent on women-focused interventions. Overall, the scheme has struggled over a 90% satisfaction rate based on an online survey conducted in 2022. And most importantly, because the process was transparent and fast. The impact on job creation cannot be looked, overlooked. 3,195 jobs have been sustained by 311 firms supported with grants. I think you should give your firms a round of applause. 
This is welcoming news because not only were the businesses able to make profit, keep their staff, they were also able to expand and add on new staff. 66% of the beneficiaries indicated that the average value of gross sales increased by approximately 4%, even at a time when the world was struggling and businesses around, was, around the world were struggling. In Ghana, through the support we gave to these SMEs, gross sales increased. Grand disbursement started in August 2021, hence 2022 is considered an appropriate base year. A gross sale value of 100,000 Ghana cities was recorded in 2021, representing about a 52% increase in compared to the 2020 baseline. Ladies and gentlemen, the new SME High Growth Program is the next big thing. Last year, I was asked by a lot of the media, what should we expect from the Ghana Enterprises Agency? What you should expect is the SME High Growth Program. And why is this so important? To transform the economy, you need to support the backbone of the economy. And SMEs are the backbone of the economy. This program has been designed to provide technical assistance. So for those who are thinking we are only giving money, that's not our job. Our job is to also build the capacity of your, of your businesses, build the capacity of the staff by providing technical assistance support to SMEs across the length and breadth of the nation. This technical assistance support will be provided by KPMG, who are the technical providers for this intervention. This shows you that we are very serious about the intervention that we hope to provide and to provide you with professional support to build your businesses. In this regard, we intend providing the SMEs also with relevant tools and business development including digital marketing tools, which are necessary at this time, at a time when the world is moving online. And as much as possible, we will provide the support. This makes the program design very relevant to the vision of His Excellency Nanado Dankwai Kufuado for SMEs through the Ghana Enterprises Agency to optimize their potential to enable them contribute meaningfully to the growth and development of the national economy and to poverty reduction. I'm happy that together with our development partners, the World Bank, through the Ghana Economic Transformation Project, PIU, we can deliver the support to SMEs. Ladies and gentlemen, through this partnership, a grant support of 160 million Ghana cities has been earmarked for the flagship SME High Growth Program, targeting SMEs nationwide for general training and technical assistance, building their capacity and consulting, and financing for some selected and qualified SMEs who are successful and show promise of high growth. Ladies and gentlemen, the expected results and impact of the SME High Growth Program is to support 2,000 SMEs to become also investment ready, increase their sales, and more importantly, build their capacities to export and create jobs that are sustainable. So who can apply SMEs? Small and medium enterprises. Which sectors are we focused on? In the past year, the president has been emphatic and consistent in the support to be given to businesses that would reduce who are in import substitution. So agribusiness and agro-processing, the education, food and beverage sector, healthcare and pharmaceutical industries, the ICT, not those who want to buy laptops and sell. We need to really pay attention to that manufacturing, textile and garment, tourism and hospitality, trade and commerce of locally manufactured products, the access to market of our Ghanaian made products, transport and logistics to support the made in Ghana agenda. Majority Ghanaian owned businesses registered in Ghana who are and willing and able to grow their businesses. I will end my welcome address by showing appreciation first and foremost to all of you who are here today. The question most people ask, am I eligible to apply again? You are eligible, the focus is on technical assistance. The most successful of the lot, those who show promise and growth will be supported further. Promise and growth.
So in the year 2024, what I leave you with, promise and growth. So together, we can build a strong economy and a nation that will transform the nation. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do better than that. Uh, can I call that also as a yearly review as well? Because review of how the agency has fared and the work that you've done. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, now we know why we are here. But I think that she said a very, very important thing. And I remember once in my uh, finance class in school, our lecture asked us, why do small businesses struggle? Or what is the major challenge facing SMEs? We all lift, we lifted our hands and we're saying that for finance, finance. The lecture said, it is rather for support. How did these small firms grow to become the Facebook of our era and the rest? And there was about technical support. So it is very, very important that you're focusing on technical support. Thank you very much, madam. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the Deputy Minister of Trade. Thank you so much for making us here. Thank you so much, madam. The World Bank rep as well, thank you. And then the board chairman of the Ghana Enterprises Agency, the project administrator, and then the Ghana Enterprise Agency SME Grant Committee Chairman. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite the chairman of the board of the Ghana Enterprises Agency, an MP for Botiano Inglesia Manfro, on a board to the star men. So with a round of applause, let's welcome the board chairman. Thank you very much. For emphasis sake, my name is Sylvester Tete, not a Mensa. Sylvester Mensa is another Ghanaian politician. So be careful how you call me Sylvester Mensa. My constituents will be angry with you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the opportunity given me this morning. And you are looking beautiful. Honorable Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry in charge of uh, SME and MP for Equipping North, my own sister, Honorable Nana Amadokuya Oheneba, she is called. The CEO of Ghana Enterprises Agency. I can also see the CEO of NIP, my brother Kofi, who is here. The project director, the project administrator, the GA SME Grant Committee chairman, who is here with us, management and staff of GEA, our gallant entrepreneurs, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a pleasure to extend to you all, on behalf of Ghana Enterprises Agency, our deepest appreciation for joining us this morning. I'm also honored to recognize the presence of my Honorable Deputy Minister, as I said earlier on. She will be on her way to Takrade very soon, so we are greatly honored to have her with us. We must face the truth and realize that for sustained socioeconomic growth of Ghana must make a decision to remain patriotic, uphold integrity, embrace transparency, and promote equitable access to government intervention for the benefit of SMEs. And that is exactly what the GEA is doing. And as you heard, the CEO, a lot of intervention has been done in the last six years. Amazingly, uh, I don't know which institution and which intervention SMEs requires in this country that has not been provided in the last six years. And I'm proud to be a Ghanaian at this time, and I'm happy to be the board chair of Ghana Enterprises Agency at this time. I'm particularly delighted to be here with you today, and I would like, first of all, to thank His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Akufuado. When we came into office, the reason why I opposed to thank him is when you see NBSSI then, and they offer you a job there, you wouldn't want to take up any appointment at that place. But thanks to His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Akufuado and our development partners, the World Bank, that have partnered this institution and have made it an enviable one. And today, every young Ghanaian want to have a bite of Ghana Enterprises Agency, not only working there, but also to partake in the various interventions we've rolled out. And a lot of people are in Chicago with a team, and the team that we went with, I believe they came back with a lot of success stories. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to continue by thanking the World Bank for the initiative to assist Ghana in achieving its economic transformation goals through SME development. Even though Ghana's entrepreneurship and SME ecosystem have grown steadily in recent years, they are not without challenges. 
As a result, the launch of the SME Growth Grant Program is an excellent opportunity for the government, private sector, and international partners, the World Bank, to network, share information, and collaborate in developing Ghana's private sector, particularly known resource-based sectors such as ICT, agro, agriculture, agro-processing, manufacturing, textiles, and garment. Ladies and gentlemen, the project aims to accelerate growth of SMEs for job creation and job sustainability. The key word is job creation and job sustainability. Many people who apply and a lot of pressure they put on the management and staff of GEA. They are not qualified. But if you had followed through what we are doing and you want to adhere to the rules in the application process, everybody will be supported. Even if you are not supported, you get an insight as to how to roll out in future projects, you'll be successful. So I think this is an innovation, and we are committed to ensuring we work together. Uh, we believe that government intervention reach out to everybody. But the numbers that apply, obviously, we cannot give support to everybody. This application, we had more than uh, 1 million applicants of the day. Not everybody that will get opportunity. But many of you are here, you bear testimony and witnesses to the interventions you've received. I'm looking forward to the collaboration, especially because Ghana's SME ecosystem has much potential than we thought. So to the World Bank, we believe that, like Oliver Twist, we ask you to do more for our ecosystem, and we won't let you down. GEA has proven that Ghana government and its partners can work together and coexist to ensure that we bring the necessary relief to the SMEs in Ghana. I thank you for the opportunity once again. Once again, you are welcome. Thank you very much, Board Chair, Honorable Sylvester Tete, and I'll stress on the Tete. Thank you so much for that wonderful remarks there. And ladies and gentlemen, I still want to acknowledge some distinguished persons that have made it here. The CEO of NEIP, Kofi Ofosu and Kansa, thank you so much for making it here. And also the Chief Executive of the Association of Ghana Industries, Sir Chuma Kabwa, thank you so much as well. When the board chair was making this remark, he talked about asking for more. Well, it looks like the more person is here. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, one institution that believes in this project is the World Bank. And as they continue to support other critical projects at the agency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Mr. Mezan Stefavian. He is the practice manager for finance, competitiveness, and innovation at the World Bank, representing the World Bank country director. Let's welcome the rep. It looks like there's a change of the person who's represented. This was on the program and not for me. Thank you so much. There's not a change of the person. There's a change of the gender. <laughs> it's, it's been such a great pleasure to be here. And, and let me tell you maybe a little bit why, for me personally, this is a, an interesting event. I, I'm new to Ghana. I moved here just a few months ago, um, but I'm also old to Ghana. I worked here about maybe 10, 12 years ago, and I was spending a lot of time here. So it's been so interesting to see the transformation from when I last said goodbye to my Ghanaian colleagues and friends to coming here a few months back and really seeing a structural change in the economy and, and watching that shift and that growth and just really feeling a sense of pride from the World Bank because we've been truly a part of the story, and, and we, we just cherish being a partner in this. So we're, we're not just here for the money, we're here to, to see the outcomes and, and to see the transformation, and it's just so gratifying. Um, I have some remarks that were prepared for me, and they're really all about SMEs. Can you hear me still? Okay, you really do have to hold it close. Um, and, and I like talking about SMEs, but SMEs are part of that productivity story. How do you become more productive as an economy? And how do you generate economic growth? And how do you generate economic transformation? And how do you move from just extractives to you know, high growth types of industries and being linked to global value chains and all the things that we're aspiring to here in Ghana? And that, that always brings you back to the SME story. In, in Kind of globally, what we've been watching with SMEs is that they were hit very hard by the pandemic. And of course, that was true here. 
And we keep talking about how difficult that was and how it was so important for, for the World Bank to be here. And that, that was true, and that's true in, in other jurisdictions where I was in India, for example. We had the same types of programs. And, and in fact, it was so important to support those firms during the COVID pandemic. But we also saw something good coming from the pandemic. We saw an incredible shift in firms' use of digital technologies, in firms' technological adoption. We saw it at the medium end. We saw it at the small end. In India, we saw it at the household level with women and micro enterprises. It really transformed the way that people do business. And I think coming out of that, we learned the power of innovation, the power that technology has to allow you to weather the storm, to allow you to become more productive to find new markets that you didn't even know existed because you had to. And I think that's also a really interesting part of the story that we need to keep in mind today as we launch this program. Now, um, we've been doing a lot of surveys globally and here in Ghana too. And we've seen a lot of progress, but there's still, I think, a, a frontier to meet, a transformation to happen, and more can be done. And I think that's the, that's the purpose of us today. We talk about SMEs as the backbone, or the platform, or the foundation. But we rarely talk about high growth firms. And high growth firms, to me, are the, the rocket ship, the propeller, the, um, I'm looking for other adjectives, but, but I think you get the idea. It's really what shoots the economy forward. And in a lot of countries where we've done studies, it's that 5 or 10% of firms that is driving 80 to 90% of productivity. So they're really the ones that, that can have a kind of a propelling effect and a transformative effect. So that's what this program is about. I think we were here um, during COVID. We were here to provide broad levels of support. The grant interventions worked. Um, not only did they work to preserve firms, those firms grew. 4% growth, 3,000 jobs, that's amazing. Um, so I love the fact that now we're taking this indeed to the next level. The technical, the technical assistance program should be very interesting. And again, we've watched it happen in other countries. There will be a kind of a, a serious assessment to, to kind of screen out who is, who's that more narrow set of firms and then work very closely with them, but also for those firms to work closely together. So a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning should also take place, which, which is a really powerful way to transform a sector. Some of the sectors that we've been talking about are the same sectors that have propelled growth in, in other jurisdictions. So there's really kind of a lot of evidence to, to support our level of enthusiasm and optimism and excitement about this next phase. So we're very, very excited to be here. Um, I would say that uh, I keep looking at the, the prepared remarks, but I think it's more important actually just to talk about the, the feeling and the momentum that we have here. Um, the, the purpose of this kind of launch event, I think, is to introduce the next phase of the application process, and our colleagues here at GEA have already talked about that. Um, it will be fantastic to follow the journey of those of you who will apply. And the technical assistance program also will be linked to a financial sector program as well for those firms that qualify. So it's really an exciting opportunity, I think, to see what potential some of these firms have to watch you in your journey, to be there with you, to watch you all become the next propellers of the Ghanaian economy. So thank you very much, and we've been so excited to be here and be part of this with you. My name is Maynaz Safavian. I think you I got the me. name right, yeah, but was the, the gender, gender wrong. Oh, thank you so much. Anybody other uh, else been mistaken for the wrong gender? <laughs> Don't worry, a round of applause. Only the women, only the women in here have. <laughs> a round of applause for the World Bank, Practice Manager, Finance and Competitiveness. And again, here in the Gun Enterprise Agency, CEO, and then the World Bank rep talk. Maybe we'll change it from the private sector being the engine of growth to the SMEs being the engine of growth for Ghana. 
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause again for the World Bank Ref. Practical comments, issues on the ground, an independent person. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let's now welcome the Honorable Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, Honorable Nana Ama Yekua, to do the official launch and give us the keynote address. The Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Enterprises Agency, Mrs. Kosi Yanki Aye, the Member of Parliament, Bobotiano English Yamanfro, and Board Chair of Ghana Enterprises Agency, Honorable Sylvester Tete, the World Bank Country Director and Representatives, the Chief Executive Officer of NEIP, Mr. Kofio Fusun Kansa, illustrious SME beneficiaries and captains of industries, Grand Committee, distinguished invited guests, our friends from India, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to wish you all a prosperous new year and a successful 2023 from the Ministry of Trade and Industry, including myself. We appreciate your solidarity and grateful for all forms of support that you have provided to this government for all these years and um, towards the achievement of Ghana's prosperity. Distinguished guests, I'm very delighted and honored to join you today and to deliver this keynote address at the national launch of the SME Growth Grant Program to be implemented by the GEA under the Ghana Economic Transformation Program. As we are all aware, the grant program is a nationwide program and we have gathered here to witness its launch. It is an initiative funding support to the government of Ghana. On behalf of the government, I extend found appreciation and gratitude to the World Bank for the continued support and partnership in providing major support to our private sector and here particularly um, the, mic the small uh, medium enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that even till date, the adverse effects of the COVID-19 on countries, individuals, and businesses, particularly the MSME, still lingers on. In our quest to address the many challenges faced by SMEs as a result of the pandemic, explains the reasons why phase two of the grant program has been introduced in response of supporting productivity and enhancing the competitiveness of high growth SMEs with special focus on export-oriented companies and viable firms owned by vul vulnerable groups such as women-owned enterprises, persons with dis disability, and the youth. In effect, the second phase of the nationwide grant program being launched today will focus on the eligible SMEs in priority sectors that are still negatively affected by COVID-19 crisis, but have also showed positive signs of resilience to spare growth. I stress on some of these words because I would not be expecting certain phone calls for considerations outside um, these key qualifications. The main objective of the grant is therefore to provide these potential high growth SMEs with liquidity to enable them readjust their operations and bounce back to becoming profitable businesses that contribute meaningfully to Ghana's overall economic growth. We are more than committed to serving you and even better this year. In ending my statement, I would like to admonish and encourage beneficiaries to use every opportunity received for the intended purposes. 
That way, I firmly believe without any doubts that in as much as SMEs will then be able to grow and expand their operations with full gains as profitable ventures. Ghana and the citizenry at large will benefit mostly through jobs and wealth created. Foreign exchange and from value-added exports as well as import substitution. At this juncture, I have the singular honor to officially launch the National SME Growth Grant Program to be implemented by the GEA under the GET project. To the World Bank, we are grateful. We congratulate you for su successfully supporting the government of Ghana through the GET project and look forward to having many more of such laudable initiatives in the future. To our businesses, entrepreneurs, and SME beneficiaries represented here today, I wish you great success in all your endeavors this year and beyond. And please remember, to whom support is given, impact is expected. I wish you all a successful 2023 once again. God bless us all. Thank you. Indeed, God bless us all. And Thank you so much, Honorable Nana Madokwesia Meji, for that wonderful uh, speech there, telling us government full support and also thanking the other partners. And thank you so much, Honorable. So, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, now that the official launch has been done, we can draw the curtain down. But before we do that, I'll call on Hilda again to give us the closing prayer for this program. Hilda, if you're here, we're ready for you to give us the closing prayer. Let's welcome our dear lady Hilda to do us the closing prayer. Thank you so much. Father, we are grateful for today. We thank you for a very successful and beautiful program. We thank you for all the deliberations and the appearance of all the dignitaries. We thank you for the impact this program is going to make. We thank you for the SMEs who are going to be impacted and supported by this program. And we pray for all virtues we need to implement this successfully. And at the end of it all, we hoist the flag of Ghana high. We commit World Bank into your hands, O oh God. We pray that you equip them with more funds to be able to support Ghana and Ghana Enterprises Agency. And at the end of it all, Lord, we'll give glory and in adoration unto your name. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you so much for that wonderful prayer. And all too soon we have to draw the curtain down. I'd like to indeed thank everyone here. Madam Kosiyankiaya, Chief Executive of the Ghana Enterprises Agency. Mm -hmm.